Cody here with another video for you guys today. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my little haul from the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo that I went to yesterday with Connor. Uh, we do have a full-fledged video coming hopefully very soon. I think I'm supposed to be helping him work on it on Tuesday. Uh, he has a studio that he uh, professionally edits you know, videos and stuff like that. So me and him are gonna to go to that studio and work on this video because he recorded it all professionally on a uh, really nice camera. It wasn't on the phone or anything like that. I wanted this video to be really, really well done. He knows what he's doing and um, I can't wait to see the footage. Guy literally recorded some stuff that I feel like is unique to the, to the, uh, our experience. <laughs> so we did a little skit uh, with some uh, with some people uh, that you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with, um, but yes, uh, we uh, spent the whole time at this convention. Saturday was the longest day. It was from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, we uh, ended up getting there around 10. Uh, we had to go to the will call and stand in line so we can you know get our phone scanned and stuff like that so we can get in. I was worried because um, there was one guest going. And this guest is very well known to the sci-fi pop culture community. His name is William Shatner. And uh, he played Captain Kirk in the original Star Trek, right? I mean, he's very recognizable. He's the Luke Skywalker of Star Trek, I feel like. <laughs> he's very well known, right? But, like, um, <clears throat> for some reason, I kept, like, finding out, like, on Friday, Shatner's line was just ridiculously long, right? And I, I understand that. So I was just worried about, I wanted to get there as soon as I could. If I had to stand in line for three hours, I was gonna have to. But we got there, we had to get in a line just to get a ticket and pay for the autograph, right? And then the line to get to Shatner, which he walked in like right after I got the ticket. We thought we were gonna have to wait a little bit, but anyway, we got in the line and we were like the fifth or sixth in line. And I was just like, we're gonna get this done quicker than I thought we were. <laughs> and uh, yeah, apparently it's because Ashley Eckstein, uh, who played Ahsoka in Star Wars, had the longest line going on at that time. So um, we ended up knocking out, of course, Star Wars beat Star Trek always, man. I, I know a lot of people think that's blasphemy. There's a Star Trek versus Star Wars thing. I grew up on Star Wars. I didn't grow up on Star Trek, but I appreciate Star Trek, you know? I'm not a Trekkie whatsoever. I just, I enjoy the show for what it is. It's a great pop culture history thing. And I used to watch Next Gen with my mom. So I guess, you know, I enjoyed a little aspect of that, but I have seen the original series and I, I love Shatner because he's been in many things and many pop culture instances. And um, of course I wanted to get this signed right here. So this is a, this is the USS Enterprise. I think I brought it up multiple times when I was uh, actually trying to unbox this. I reviewed this. I, you know, just showed it off in general. But this has successfully been signed by William Shatner, guys. This is really cool. Um, I got to get a case for it, uh, of course. But there it is right there. There is the signature. William Shatner. Man is 92 years old. And I did get to talk to him for a little bit. He was pretty cool. Um... Uh, I had a great experience with him. Getting getting the Enterprise signed by the captain himself right there. That is, that is awesome. So I got to get this like cased up right there. That's pretty cool. No, I didn't get it. Um, I didn't get it certified or tagged or anything like that. Because I just, I don't see myself ever actually getting rid of this. And I did get proof of him signing it. So you guys will see that very soon. Uh, next up, <clears throat> after that, we went to... Um, they had Brian O'Halloran and Jeff Anderson, uh, as well as Ming Chen over there. Of course, they're you know comic book men, clerks mix and stuff like that. I went to Ming first because um, Connor and I were uh, we were not prepared at all for anything. I had my cash on me. I told him you had to have cash for the convention. It's always a given. Not everybody has those card readers, and even when the card readers are used, sometimes they're flawed at the conventions. Um, so being someone who's actually had to work behind a table and swiping cards left and right, it was never, it was never responsive. And it, when it was responsive, it, it was a process. So uh, anyway, no, the point is, is that uh, we had to wait because me and Connor doubled up on the, on the photo together with, uh, with uh, Jeff and, and Brian. Uh, we had to wait on that. So we went to go see Ming. I knew there was one thing I wanted to get there. 
because this show, for some reason, is so impossible to find anywhere in completion. Uh, someone told me it was on Tubi TV, but I think there's a couple episodes missing. And uh, Ming told me that, actually. And, um, well, he had a bootleg copy of Comic Book Men. Now, I'm okay with having bootleg copies of things, especially when it's not out there for the public to, you know, uh, buy officially, because AMC does not want to put the show out officially, apparently. And uh, he ended up signing it, so that's pretty cool. I've already watched, I want to say, 10 episodes of this since yesterday, because I love this show, guys. I love this show so much. And um, it looks good. It really does. I, I, for a bootleg, this has done very well. Um, and uh, yeah, so Ming signed that, and he also signed the uh, the second disc right there. So he signed it twice. Ming is really awesome. It was a really good, really good guy. Um, so of course we went to go take a picture with Jeff Anderson and, and Brian Halloran afterwards. Um, and then um, <laughs> the next the next thing I got signed, I had to haul ass to um, Bill Farmer and. Um, freaking Jason Marsden who played Goofy and Max. I finally, finally got this damn poster. I, pay, I, I paid for this damn thing, like these signatures twice. I'm, I'm still going to be frustrated over this situation. I had a friend of mine that I trusted. Uh, my first convention, or my, my convention that I went to a couple years ago or a year ago, I ended up getting a poster signed, uh, a smaller poster. So, uh, signed by Jason Marsden. And this ex-friend of mine ended up actually help telling me that Bill Farmer was going, so I handed him off the autograph or uh, the autograph poster for him to get signed for me at a convention he was going to, and he held it for like a year. And then me and him got into a fight, and this guy, still in his possession, don't know what he did with it. Guy probably burned it, set it set it ablaze, ripped it up, put it through a meat grinder. I don't fucking know. This guy's that petty. Uh, and pretty much stole about $200 worth of stuff of mine. Um, all I can hope is that later on in life, karma is going to kick him in the ass. Uh, but I still got my signatures. Bill Farmer and Jason Marsden were the, there this year in this poster. Um, it looks amazing. It looks even more amazing than the one that uh, Jackass has. So, um, yeah, the, this, this is a really nice piece. I'm very happy that in the end... Uh, everything has been set in stone and is right with the world when it comes to that situation right there. Um, even though I had to pay for it again, you know, no reason to cry over spilled milk. It's, you know, the principle of the whole thing. And you just pissed off at somebody for being that big of an asshole, you know. But that poster is amazing. It is beautiful. It's hanging up right now. So I absolutely love it. And lastly... Man, let me tell you, we knocked out these autographs within like an hour and a half of getting there, which was nuts because we had to kill uh, another like uh, uh, seven hours. <laughs> so we had seven hours of, you know, just pretty much pacing around, looking at all the um, the vendors. I met up with my friends over at Total Nostalgia. They were they were doing a vending or they were vendors there, so they had stuff there that they were selling, um, and. Um, we ended up going to a couple panels. This was, uh, it was a great, great little thing, but the best, I feel like this is the, the highlight of everything because if, if, even if I didn't, um, you know, get the signatures that I wanted to get, which I got every single one that I wanted, the interaction that I had with these two people, amazing. I was not expecting it. And it's all because I feel like it's either because of who I know or just because they really liked my personality. But, um, so, I obviously wanted to get this signed. This is, um, I've talked about this. This is the uh, mask from Scary Movie, the, you know, the tongue sticking out mask. And I got Dave Sheridan, who played Doofy and ended up being the killer in the movie, spoiler alert. Uh, he signed this and we got a picture together. So that was great. I was really excited about that. Um, but next to him was Felissa Rose. Uh, Felissa Rose uh, played Angela in uh, Sleepaway Camp, um, and she is such a sweetheart, and I love her energy. She just has, she's so bubbly and is just full of life, and she loves everyone that comes to her table, but when I came up to her and showed her who I knew, which was Brendan, Wet Movie 1, uh, she started kind of jumping up and down like a, like a little girl. Like She was just like, oh my god, I love him! 
He's like, you guys are friends? And I was like, yeah. He was just like, oh, so you must be from California. I was like, no, no, I'm not. I, I have been here for 20 years of my life. This is where I've lived since I was a little kid. And she's like, wow, how'd you end up meeting Brendan? And I told her and how me and him have been friends for like 10 years and, and stuff like that. So she appreciated it so much. And me and Brendan, you know, are, you know though like we don't live next to each other, we're just like closest friends, you know? So explaining that was great. And I, I just, it was fun. So um, though, uh, I'm sorry, Brendan, for what I, I ended up doing on camera. Uh, you know, and, you know, me and Felissa are, um, I, I, I'm, ta I'm taking your Kool-Aid, man. I'm sorry. I, uh, I ended up proposing to her and she said yes. So you guys might end up getting a divorce very soon. Um, you know, this, this, I'm sorry for that. Um, anyway, uh, you guys can wait for that video. <laughs> it's all coming soon, guys, in one big spectacle. Um. Uh, but Dave Sheridan, man, he was great. Uh, me and him talked for, I feel like, hours, dude. You know, he wanted to know all the spots at Huntsville. I was telling him all these places to go to. And, uh, you know, he, he hung out with me. I think we walked off for a minute and was just kind of talking around, you know. Um, but me and Dave were talking uh, about a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, they all enjoyed my company there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Dave uh, ended up actually meeting me out in the hall after we were leaving because I had to go to dinner with Connor and his father. Uh, we were walking out. Dave and Felissa ended up uh, meeting us while we were walking out. And <laughs> he's just like, I'll see you later. Hey, goodbye. Uh, nice to meet you. And I was like, nice to meet you too. And he's like, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the people behind you. And I was just like, okay, well, screw you too. <laughs> he just started laughing. They were having a good time, man. It was a great interaction. Really fun. I'm really happy that we got to get all this dealt with. This was a great experience. I'm I'm just happy that in the end, the convention was very thorough. We were able to get everything done so quickly. We had to experience a lot of a lot of panels, which I'm not normally used to. It feels like a lot of times I'm spending more time standing in line, waiting to meet guests. So panels are just kind of like not something I cared about, you know? So doing the three panels, which is the most I've ever actually done at a convention, that was great. Um, yeah, that was that was fun. That was a fun convention, and uh, I can't wait for you guys to see the full-fledged video. We got a lot of footage there, a lot of great uh, interactions with people, cosplayers, guests, uh, and just in general, giving you guys a first-hand look at what it's like to be at the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo. So you guys stay tuned for that, and as always, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back with more videos soon. I'll talk to you guys later.